Thank you. Hey guys, Brandon Johnson here again, and thanks for joining me. Today we're looking at Hey Hey, that old Delta Blues song that was made famous by Eric Clapton, originally written by Big Bill Brunzi way back in the day. But this song will give you a great foundation for you know, a new way to play the 12-bar blues, maybe a way that you haven't played it before. I also try to show a kind of a unique way to finger pick, which is um, you know, kind of a less articulate way of just kind of using a claw motion with your right hand to finger pick. And I think that's a really, really cool way to do this. It's kind of a combination of finger picking and strumming, but uh, there's definitely no pick involved in this song. So this will build your strength with your right hand, your finger picking strength with your left hand. It's just a great song to know. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's check it out. Okay, let's take a look at Hey Hey. Now, this song is in uh, the 12 bar blues form. And you can see uh, right before measure number one, we have a pickup measure. And what I have written out there is A string fifth fret, to slide up to 7th fret. So that would be... I like that. I usually like playing that with my thumb. And if you watch Clapton playing this song, um, he's kind of, what he's doing with his right hand, he's kind of making a claw motion like this when he's finger picking. It's not like a, a really articulate type of finger picking where you're using each finger to pick each note. It's more of a kind of a sweeping motion with the fingertips. Um, you're kind of doing this. You're kind of strumming with your fingertips. It's kind of a, a classic blues, Delta blues style of playing. So that's kind of the technique that we're using on this song. And right off the bat, you see that pickup measure. So we're sliding up on the A string fifth fret to the A string seventh fret. And then we're going to hit an open E with our thumb. Okay, so this is kind of similar to like last steam engine train where you're sliding up into the E. Okay, and we're playing this song out of the E position, out of the E7 chord position. And we're adding the ninth in there on the B string eighth fret. up to that E7 chord position, we're going to actually do a bend. Okay, so we've got our little finger on the 8th fret B string, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually bend this up half a step. That's why I have there that 9th, that 9th fret B. You're not actually playing the 9th fret B, but you're bending the B string 8th fret up to that 9th fret note. What I actually do here is I'm bending that, that 8th fret B string, but I'm actually kind of bending the entire chord in a way. Okay, and after we do that bend, we're going we're gonna to release it. Okay, so we're coming in, we're doing that bend, and then we're releasing it. my right hand, I'm kind of doing that claw motion that I was talking about at the beginning. And I'm kind of doing the claw here, where my thumb is on the A string, and then my index finger and my middle finger are on the G and the B string. After that, what we're going to do here is we're going to go up to, we're going to go a little bit higher on the neck and we're going to go to the higher strings as well. And we're going to go up here to this kind of this diminished chord shape. And I like to play this, uh, this diminished with all four of my fingers on my left hand as a full diminished chord. 
Although when you watch Clapton do it, he actually plays it this way. Okay, so he's playing it with his ring finger, his middle finger, and his index finger. You'll notice there that I'm doing, I'm kind of hitting the bass note, the open E bass note, um, over each quarter note. So I'm kind of using that as a, as a timing mechanism. Okay, let's play measure number one now, start to finish, including the pickup. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, looking at measure number two now, we're playing over the E7 chord yet again. And what we're doing here is we're still playing this kind of this diminished chord shape coming out of measure number one. So we're starting on that kind of that diminished chord shape and you can play that either this way or you can play it this way. Either way, we're coming into that diminished chord shape, and we're really only playing the B string and the E string with our index finger and our middle finger. Coming out of measure number one, we're playing this is kind of an alternating type of thing where we're playing the low E first, and then the high notes. And then what we're doing is we're playing eight on the B string, and open E. And you can kind of do a little bit of a bend there on the eighth fret B. And then you'll see that slide up again, because we're going to go back into the exact same thing that we played in measure number one in measures three and four. So it repeats twice. Okay, let's check out measures number one and two together all the way through with the pickup at the beginning. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, looking at measure number three now, measure number three is the same as measure number one. And we have, we even have the pickup coming out of measure number two going into measure number three. So it's played exactly the same. And then you see at the end of measure number four there, we have a slide down from the seventh fret A string to the first fret. So that would be... Okay, what I'm actually doing there is you don't have to worry about getting precisely to that first fret. You're kind of just implying, because we're going down to an A. So we want to kind of slide down from that seventh fret A string down to open A. Okay, so it's that kind of a thing. And again, I'm playing that with my thumb, and I'm just doing a downstroke with my thumb. Okay, let's look at measures one through four now, all the way through, including the pickup at the beginning. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. 